Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So today I'm going to be talking about Pat's special Lunar New Year collection. I just wanted to wish everybody a happy Lunar New Year. With this particular collection, Pat has done a reissue of one of her palettes. I did a review on this already, and just show you the new powder that she launched, which is in the color light, as well as the limited edition lipstick, which is a brand new lipstick to her matte trance collection, and it's the Rouge 8. So I will show you how this looks as well. I've also got some blush that I'm just gonna put on just to complete the look so you can see how it all looks as one. I'm gonna do a comparison of this new release alongside the old one that I did the review on. So just so you know, Pat launched the Venus in Fleurs Lux Quad, and this was the Voyeuristic Vixen, and she has actually relaunched it again for Lunar New Year. Now the reason I decided to get this is because it's a really good backup for this one, and I just thought that the packaging was really, really lovely, as well as the fact that I am a collector of makeup, but also a huge fan of Pat. So I just wanted to show you the comparisons. At the back, the colors are exactly the same. You have Moonlight Liaison, Rose Fire Nectar, After Dusk, and Twilight Bronze. They both have an 18 month shelf life. In the original one that Pat launched, there was 4.9 grams of product. In the new one that Pat has reissued, there is now 5.2 grams of product. So actually you get more product in her new Lunar New Year packaging. I'm gonna show you a comparison of the two pans. So this is the original one that Pat launched and you can see that the pans are quite big. So this is Pat's new launch with the red packaging. The packaging clearly shows that the pans are smaller. So this is the original one, and this is Pat's newest launch. It's quite funny that this one has more product in it. So maybe it's slightly deeper, I'm not sure, but even the dimensions look quite similar. So I'm not sure how she has actually put more product in this one, but that's what it says on the packaging. So what I'll do is I'll just do a quick look using this palette and then move on to the lip and the powder but I just wanted to show you the comparison. Here are the arm swatches. As you can see they are both the same so I decided to stick with the palette that I purchased in the past. I've decided to stick with this palette because if the colours are both the same, I didn't really want to start another palette and I wanted to keep the new one as backup. I'm now going to just put on some blush. I'm going to use the colour Divine Rose because it's a nice sort of neutral colour. Lovely. And with the packaging for the Lunar New Year, for the eyeshadow, it's all red. With Pat's it's normally all black and the whole thing inside is red as well. So I've just gone off camera, I've added some brow and some mascara and I'm just going to show you the packaging for the under eye power blurring powder in light. What's different about this compared to her other packaging is the Pat McGrath Labs is written in red. So this is the powder and I'm just going to take my brush and I'm going to pat it into the powder and just put some under my eye. I 
Now the last thing that's in the collection is the Matt Trance Rouge 8 lipstick. This is the one that's really beautiful. So in this packaging, you have the Pat McGrath Labs packaging, but it's now red and that's just a stunning, stunning lipstick. You open it up and oh, this is just gorgeous. Can you see the detail around that lipstick? So, so beautiful and intricate. So I'm just going to do a hand swatch for you now. So I'm just going to try this on now with you. Wow, what a lovely red. What a gorgeous red. That's just beautiful. So that is the entire collection. I absolutely love the reissue of this. I love the red packaging. I think it's very in line with Lunar New Year. I wish she brought out a new palette for this as opposed to reissuing it, but I still love this palette and I'm glad that I have a backup now. The lipstick is absolutely stunning. It is gorgeous as usual and I love it. The powder is beautiful, blurring, amazing. So yeah, I'm very, very happy with this collection. And Happy Lunar New Year to you and all of your family. Please let me know your comments. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.